hello, welcome. This is not my house, this is Francisco, this is Arthur, and this is my home takeover. This is everything. Fantastic. That is a beast, that one, isn't it? So this one originally was the one I painted of Emma being pregnant and um, the baby. What I love about canvas is the idea that you paint over the top of them so they have their own history. And then I'm using a lot of tar as well, which is a material I always wanted to work with because of its like natural, because it's natural, it's black, it's sticky, it has weight. And it's really dark as well. I like the, the tone of it. It's yeah, that's a bit... I, I like the smell. It smells great. It's like um, pine. Yeah. How do you feel? I've been saying that I'm trying to make my paintings a little less intellectual. Like I want them to be a bit more about feeling something. Yeah, I mean, that... I, I, I like that. I appreciate that more. I'd like, because if I was going to, you know, if I'm going to have paint, if I'm going to have a painting of something hanging in my house, I'd be able to, I'd want to be able to talk about it to people, to any, anyone and everyone that walks in. And it means something to you. Yeah. Also, yeah. I'm a basic, I'm a basic bloke, so, you know. <laughs> I don't want it to be too complicated if someone says to me, what does it mean? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, let's... What I'm, I'm going to start... Why don't I put them around the house, find little places for them, and then I'll bring, and then you can come and have a look and be yeah. like, yeah, that's a good place right, to cool. put it. Yeah, you just... I appreciate well, Just put them about and then just come and get me. Right, well, I'll bring the paintings down. I'll start with that. So this one is called Oh Lord and basically what I'm trying to explore here is like my own sense of faith in things, uh, like do I have a faith and so I've taken like the image of Jesus on the cross just because I find it such a powerful moving image like whenever I walk into a church I do feel a sense of like calm and a sense of there's something so powerful it also has so many implications to so many people like religion does it can be such a a figure of strength and like um, hope but for other people religion they don't believe in religion so this is me looking for it so I wanted to have that sort of oil black dried blood in the hair sort of thing but then the face I originally drew the face of what I was looking at and then I've carved into it and cut it out and removed it as if you know like a block of wood you've chipped away at something and then like I've tried to use like thorn like strokes to bring in that, my emotion of what I was feeling. So that's that one. This is called Because It Is My Name and it's based on the Crucible. Um, that specific scene in it where Proctor shouts, because it is my name. And I basically just played that on loop and loop and loop and painted what I had and I used like a lot of oil and tar and I suppose it's a, it's an expression of that. Like someone said the other day, like um, um, looking for faith, faith is also could be looking for feeling, like looking for, and this is like a deep rooted emotion of pain, sacrifice, betrayal, all those sort of emotions going in. But yeah, because it is my name. This is the sort of central piece to all the artwork. So this is the one that started the whole idea around all the exhibitions. This is, um, first of all, I had to paint over a really precious and important painting to me, a, a moment in my life, which was about um, my wife and our child being born. Um, 
which and I had to you know put over there's a lot of tar and there's a lot of black and I suppose I mean that had there was a tiny sacrifice in that like the idea of getting rid of something that I really cared about really what I've tried to create with all of these works is a sense of mystery again that maybe I feel like is missing in the world right now is the idea that things can mean many things I suppose in life it, things have to be sometimes a bit black and white we need that as a structure as humans but in art it should be about trying to deepen the mystery of what all this is and what this means and faith and hope and, you know, moments. This is Ice Cream Sunday. I actually think it's a wicked place to find it. We found it where they put their shoes and coats and everything else, it all tucked in. And basically, I, I really enjoy dr drawing like the human form and exploring where weight and sort of life has impacted it. Like you carry a bit, a bit of a, a story on your body. And this one specifically is about like a sort of a, a, a tranquil, uh, a moment of peace on Sundays, quite a, ritualistic day or I have an idealistic view of Sundays like the idea that you wake up you read the paper you have a coffee you go to the park with your child you play you have a Sunday dinner you sit in front like all these ideas I have of Sunday and so the painting is has this sort of ice cream feel to it that sort of indulgent feel the idea that things are melting and things are pleasurable and there's some sense of like freedom in it as well so it's a pleasurable moment Ice cream sundae. So I'll take you through where I'll put them, what I've done. I haven't moved Pray to Pray. Yeah, nice. Put that on the vinyl. Yeah. Put that right there. Put yeah, yeah, yeah. Underneath the so, guitar. looking for fate, is that the, is that the title of that series as well? Yeah, it's like the exhibition title. If you're looking at something I'm exploring, it's like looking for feel, looking for faith, like looking for hope in something. I wanted the lines not to be like, I wanted to be like stitches. Yeah. Like, you know that? So not perfect. Never perfect. No. Although you've done a pretty good job at the bottom. Thank you. I'd say, to the eye. <laughs> I like that. I'll show you the one up there if you want to see it. The other bits we've done around the house. Great. So, ice cream sundae, thought where you put your shoes in, put your things in, it's protected, it's framed. How you doing? And you can see it, everyone can see it when they come out of their rooms, out the bathroom. See, now that this is here, now that I see this here, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't actually think this space needed anything. And now it's there, I'm like, well, yeah, that's exactly what it needed, that kind of bit of colour, because it is just a big white wall. Mm -hmm. 